GPT-4 is here and I just got access to it by upgrading to ChatGPT+. I still have to try it so I will do it here live with you and as you can see now if you have ChatGPT+, you can access GPT-4, you can choose between GPT-3.5, the legacy GPT-3.5 and now GPT-4 with more reasoning, more consciousness, I think I pronounce it well, <laughs> and uh, speed, I don't know, it will not be so fast, but uh, it doesn't matter when you have other things. So it's not like the Turbo GPT, as you can see in this one, speed is higher than GPT-4, but who cares? This is the official announcement, you can try it on ChatGPT+, obviously you need to pay $20 monthly, or you can join the API waitlist if you are a developer, I think you already know. And here we have some uh, information about this new GPT-4 model. We will have more creativity. GPT-4 can uh, understand what is into an image and uh, use an image as an input to generate an output, really interesting, and longer context. Then some other interesting things, you can go to openai.com slash product slash GPT-4 and read by yourself. I want to show you how it works and I want to see how it works because I don't really know. I have a limit, a cap of 100 messages every four hours. So let's try to generate something. For example, do you know who is the actual owner of Twitter? I want to see if they implement some uh, fresh content. Uh, theoretically, it's uh, a little bit better in factual content. Let's see how GPT-4 handles this request. And no, they not added new content. As of my knowledge, cutoff date is September 2021. So, so knowledge base of GPT-4 is still up to September 2021. So obviously it doesn't know that Elon Musk is the new owner of Twitter. So if you were waiting GPT-4 to handle fresh data, the answer is no. Let's try this. Give me 10 catchy and clickbaiting title ideas for a YouTube video about the new GPT-4 AI model. Okay, it's generating some titles and I have to see they are quite good, catchy and clickbaiting. I have to admit that I like them better if compared to the ones that usually GPT-3 was generating. GPT-4, the AI revolution you won't believe. Is this the end of human intelligence? The AI that learned too much? GPT-4's shocking capabilities revealed. Not bad, not bad for this kind of task. Let's try something different. I want to see if GPT-4 is able to analyze a web page. I don't think so, but I want to try. Okay, as expected, it's not able to do it. OpenAI is saying that now GPT-4 has more reasoning capabilities. So I found this example on OpenAI site. I just changed something. Let's see what GPT-4 says. Andrew is free from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Joanne is free from noon to 3 p.m. And then 3.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Anna is available at noon for half an hour and then 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. What are some options for start times for a 30-minute meeting for Andrew, Anna and Johan? Let's check. Okay, the only time slots where all three participants are available for a 30-minute call is 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. It's correct. Now I want to try something that we bloggers and SEO use, and it's a blog introduction, write an engaging and human-like introduction for a blog post about how to wash your dog. And remember, these are just my first trial with GPT-4. I will do more, so subscribe to my channel and click on the like button because I purchased the plus version of ChatGPT just to show you how GPT-4 works. Let's try to write this blog introduction.
Ok, this is the introduction, not bad, are you tired of struggling with a squirmy, wet and unhappy pup every time bath time rolls around? <laughs> not bad, as a hook, you can stop the video and read it by yourself, now I want an outline. Now generate the best outline you can for this blog post, be engaging and satisfy the user's search intent. Let's see what GPT-4 writes for us. A very detailed outline, it's not fast when writing, it's uh, quite slow. Uh, the outline, it's very detailed. Uh, this is something that even uh, GPT-3 was uh, good at doing, but uh, I think this is even more detailed. Now I want to try something that uh, usually GPT-3 uh, couldn't do perfectly, if I ask, for example, now write an entire 2000 word blog post following the above outline. Write as a human would do, use different sentences, structures, use metaphors and examples. I don't expect uh, GPT-4 to be able to write an entire 2000 word blog article, but uh, I'm curious to see it. I think it will take some time, so I'm speeding up the video. As I supposed, uh, it's not able to write an entire 2000 word article. Uh, I copied this text here in the word counter and I have 583 words. Anyway, I see it's writing quite a good article, very detailed. So I want to uh, continue from here and I can write something like continue from here and uh, Click on enter, I want to see if it starts again from there and continue to follow my outline. And this is another piece of article, it's not finished yet, so I suppose uh, you will need uh, three different prompts uh, to generate uh, a long article. Let's add this text here and we are at 1168 and now let's do the last part of this article. Continue from here. And here it is, this is the last part, so it's not a 2000 word article as I expected, but we have an entire 1319 words article. Then you can obviously expand some of these concepts and some of these uh, paragraphs. Uh, it's not too bad. And this is again just my first uh, trial. I will do others in the next days, maybe with something more factual. If you want to try and use GPT-4, you need to use uh, the plus version of ChatGPT or you need to join the API waitlist. Okay, that's all for this uh, quick uh, video, the first video about GPT-4. I hope it was useful and if so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel so you will not lose my next video. Thank you very much for being here and see you soon!